Thank you. You too. You remember us? No, actually, you know the funny thing is my wife went to Taco Bell and I'm coming in here. Oh, man. You guys are stacking up. Yeah, right. So they don't do the tags right now. Just, oh, they just give hand, it to you? He just handed me an ice cream cone and I was like, what am I supposed to do with that? Eat it! What? You drove the whole way home holding an ice cream cone? I didn't know what to do. Uh, <laughs> well, um, I really He's want in it. just a minute. You want it? Do you, do you really want it? You don't want it? I mean, yes, but... Okay, eat it then. That's fine. <laughs> I can't believe you drove the whole way home and didn't eat it. There's somebody that really wanted it more than me. I mean, if it was cotton candy dipped, then I'd be like, oh no, I want it, but you're fine. So the girls getting your food. We got this guy went to Dairy Queen, as you saw. I went to Taco Bell, as you saw. And this is mine, a Diet Pepsi. Well, I didn't check our bag, so I'm hoping it's all here. Okay, so I got this Crunch Wrap. Supreme. Shad got a triple lupa. Okay, so the girls are at the store. I <sighs> should be doing something. So I'm gonna tr clean Keaton's fish tank. If I wanna ever upgrade to a bigger fish tank. Wrong. Yeah, and I can't clean this little one. She'll never let me get a bigger one. So. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> I don't know if you watched the video before. Uh, had to buy Krista a new pasta strainer because apparently once dirty fish water gets in your pasta strainer, not allowed to have pasta in it again. Dump all the fun water in there. Oh, this doesn't smell so good. Fishy's about ready to go back in. Fish tank is in place, looking good, nice and clean. All right, Oliver, back in you go. All right, fish tank done. So the next thing on my to-do list, yeah, I'm sure she showed it to you the other day. Got a new bed frame that they put on it. And thankfully they did the bed frame because whenever I do it, I never seem to get the bed frame right. The old bed frame, just one of these like standard, you know, the metal ones. I don't know what we're gonna do with it. Probably give it away, but it needs to get out of our bedroom. Krista hates a junky bedroom and she said she makes her feel like anxious or she wants to go to the bedroom and have like a one place in the house that she can go and feel relaxed. So, which means more trips, more Amazon packages is what that means. But whatever, but happy wife, happy life. I am gonna just wrap these little things up and take them down to the garage. thing I forgot I, said, I told Krista I would do is fold this basket of laundry that's been sitting in our room for a week. So I went downstairs and I cleaned up some things, put some things away, so right when they walk in the door it's all clean, turned on the Sensi. When the wife is out of sorts, you know, I want to try to put her back on, help put her back on. Uh, anyway, this is how I like to do fold laundry. I just dump it on the bed, that way you don't have to bend down. When I bend down, my pants slide down, and that's not good for any of us, right? Well, whoa. I think the last time I had the camera out was at lunchtime. It's now like six o'clock. We've done nothing. The girls, I'm almost embarrassed to say this, They've been playing Minecraft for six hours. Six hours? Yes. Seriously? Yeah, we got lunch at 12. Well, no, because then we were watching Barbie movies. Oh, that's right. They did watch a bunch of Barbie movies for, okay, so they've been playing Minecraft for probably three hours today. I have been watching Netflix the whole time. I took a little nap. This is like the first real day that I've just, 
sat around and done nothing. I didn't clean anything. Oh, I put some laundry in. I think Shad's actually upstairs right now folding laundry and like switching it into the dryer. The girls are hungry. They just want dino nuggets and mac and cheese. Dinner of champions, I guess, here. I was thinking you were putting away laundry. Thank you. You're welcome. Gourmet mac and cheese is done. So I went to get Keaton's plate and give her a Paw Patrol plate. And Kennedy says, I want a fun plate too. So she picked Dora. Oops. So I feel like I'm making two little kids their dinner. <laughs> and done. They're gonna share some oranges. I just didn't have an extra spot in Keaton's plate, so I put him in Kennedy's plate. That's the fancy dinner for quarantine Saturday in Seattle. Super rainy day. It's all clouds. It smells really good. There's leaves coming on the trees. What are you making? Cookies. My daughter. I think we picked up some cheap cookie dough. It's signature select. But we're making some chocolate chip cookies. Well, not making them. Ugh. Just putting them on the cookie sheet. Don't worry. Kennedy just washed her hands. Oh, uh-oh. No, no. It almost happened once and it almost <laughs> happened again. Um, did you taste the cookie dough yet? No. Do you think those are too big? I thought <laughs> Maybe we should try a little sliver. Mm, it's good. It doesn't taste cheap. Tastes good. Feels cheap. Feels cheap. <laughs> maybe just because it's cold. Could have let it sit out maybe a little bit. Soften up. Uh -oh. oh, hot, hot, hot. Little, yeah, a little warm. They smell so good. I want to scratch you one off. You, you want a what? spatula one off? Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's the one you did, I think. You made mm -hmm. it. Careful, 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 careful. No. There you go. Good job. You gonna, oh gosh. There you go. <laughs> Do you yeah. still have your milk, both of you girls? Yeah. Okay. Wait, like Santa. Like Santa? Milk and cookies? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, pick your cookie. Is it good? Another one. Eat that one. Are you dipping it in the milk? Is it good? <laughs> hello, hello. It's the next day. It's Sunday. Slept in today, except for Shad. Shad's at work. The girls are here, literally in their same spot. I think we left them yesterday playing Minecraft. Begging me and begging me. And I can't say no because she just, she'll freak out if I say no. <laughs> well, you can say no. We can handle it. I do not understand this game. I This game bores me out of my mind. So we are ordering some Qdoba right now. We're going to go pick it up. I think the last time I went in there, was that last weekend? I could go into the store and pick it up, but now I think they're only doing curbside, so we'll see. And last time I was not happy because they forgot a couple things from our order and they didn't make mine good, so I was really annoyed. I'm hoping today it'll be a better experience. Are you looking for some shoes? Why don't you just wear your rainbows right here? Rainbows? Rainbows? <laughs> wear your rainbows. You wanna wear those? Okay. I mean, we're not going in anywhere. They're just going to bring it out to our car, so that's well, fine. Well, you still have to walk outside to the car. Look at I don't know. It's not wet. Oh, is the bottom coming out of those boots? Yeah. Bummer. Her rainbow ones? Yeah. Oh. Her brand new ones. <laughs> what an outfit. <laughs> Can you get it? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. You're going to break your ankle. Okay, we're here, we're about five minutes early, so it's probably not done yet, but we're just gonna hang out in the car until they bring it out. I can see some employees in there working. Okay, a little bit awkward because I said we would be here at 11.45. I put in the make and model of our car and stuff. We're sitting right outside the front. It's 11.48 and they haven't brought it out. So I'm like, do I go inside and pick it up? Or I, I'm never comfortable doing this kind of thing. Like, but if it's done, it's just sitting there getting cold or I, I don't know, I hate doing this stuff. I'll do it if I have to, but it's awkward. Make Kennedy go in and get it. No, I'm <laughs> she's not the going same in. as me. <laughs> she's like, if I order her like Subway or something, she's like, do I have to go in and get it? I'm like, yep, I'll order it if you go get it. And the one time I had her do it, um, I had ordered it from the wrong restaurant. Yeah. <laughs> so 
Oh, she went in to pick oh. it up and it wasn't even the right Let's store. See, yeah. Man, now it's 11.49. What do I do? Oh, I think I see a bag. They're getting it together. But everybody in there is getting food to go, so I can't be like, oh, there's a to-go order. That's everybody's. I'll wait just a couple more minutes and then I'll go in and get it if they don't bring it up. Okay, I ended up checking my order because it was 11.55 and it, I got my email confirmation. It said, call the phone number when you get here. Like, oh my gosh, so it's been sitting there, done. We're probably gonna have to heat it up. I think we have everything. <laughs> what? Uh, Do we have extra? I don't know. I don't know what you ordered. So a burrito for you, mm -hmm. chips and queso right here, mm -hmm. and then nachos with chips on the side. There's another one. <gasps> oh, because I asked, I asked for extra queso. Oh. oh, good job, you guys. You made up for last time. Okay, let's go home and eat our cold Qdoba. Where do you want to eat? Okay, they did good today. We got two containers of queso. And then Kennedy got her burrito, a chicken burrito, and I got the chip. Thank you, Qdoba. You did good. So seriously, another boring day at home. You're going insane because you have been playing Minecraft for... Two days, well, I can't three days in a row. Play Minecraft. You can tell her no. You've seen what happens if I tell her no. <laughs> she asks me a billion times. <laughs> well, Keaton has just discovered video games and Minecraft. And yes, if you guys notice, Keaton is in the same clothes as she was yesterday, all day I long. Before that. No, she put them on her bath the other night. After her bath. Shad is home now. He said, "What's for dinner tonight?" And I said. Whatever you can find. So there's some leftover Qdoba in here that he can have. Kennedy just asked if I would make some hard boiled eggs. So yes, I can do that. I actually know how to make hard boiled eggs. Oh, and guess what, you guys? I just placed a delivery order from Fred Meyer. So for pickup, it wasn't available until Thursday? No, no, Saturday or Sunday. Whatever the fourth is. So I, I think that's Saturday. I don't know. But for delivery, they could do it today. The bummer is, is that they're making pickup, um, grocery pickup totally free where usually they charge $4.95. But delivery is still charging the $10 delivery fee. At least we don't have to go out to the store. They're going to just have it delivered, drop it off here. It said within two hours. I'll be surprised if we get it by then. But anyway, I'm going to make some hard boiled eggs. All right, here is your question. How do you guys cook your hard boiled eggs? I know everybody does them differently. The way that I saw it like years ago, I think it was on Rachel Ray or something. You put your eggs in a pot of water. As soon as it starts boiling, you take it off the burner and cover it with a lid for 10 minutes. And then you put them in an ice bath for 10 minutes. That's the way I've always done them. So let me know down below how you guys cook your hard boiled eggs. Just watching the eggs. They're gonna start boiling soon. And for dinner, I know I said we were gonna do a whatever you can find night. We actually decided to do um, Papa Murphy's. So Shad's gonna go pick up Papa Murphy's. Okay, it's boiling, turning it off, putting the lid on. Alexa, set a timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, starting now. Okay, I got my bowl of ice in just a few more minutes and then we can take the eggs out and put them in there. Okay, so I left these in closer to 15 minutes just because we don't want the yolk to be runny. I'm gonna take them out here and put them right into the ice. Okay. Okay, Shad is home now with pizza. So we got him a 12 inch pepperoni and pineapple. And then the girls and I, we got like a medium cheese, just cheese. I forget we're under quarantine, and I was just getting a pizza, and the guy was like, you want to get your, you want your receipt? And I've learned, always get your receipt, because, and I was like, yeah, sure, go ahead, sure. And he's like, okay, it'll come up from right over there. <laughs> and I'm like, why can't you get it? I don't work here. They're trying to limit contaminations. <laughs> but then I was like, oh yeah. And I had to like, grab it, and wait for it, and then. <laughs> I'm actually on Facebook right now. I'm really trying not to be on Facebook as much. I honestly can't stand it. Just with everything going on, it like makes me anxious. But I love keeping up with friends and family, and so it's hard not to be on there. But anyway, I'm chatting with my friend Gina. She actually lives close by, and we've never met in person. But we're going to, dang it. We always say we're going to, and then this happened, and 
now we can't. So hi Gina, I'm talking to you right now as we're like um, vlogging and, and we're messaging back and forth. These two girls are loving on their rainy dog. Do you love Rainy? Rainy loves kids. Give Rainy kids and she's fine. Give her adults and she's like scared of adults. All right, our pizza is done. Oh, it looks good. They just brought our groceries. Um, $90 worth of groceries in three bags. <laughs> so, let's see. Got French bread. There were a few things that they did have to substitute because they were out. Like I ordered some yogurt. Obviously that's not yogurt, that's shaved cream. We got blueberries, strawberries, some ground beef. Ooh, I ordered that for me. We got some couple bags of salad, some ground beef. What else? Uh, kiwi, some grapes, broccoli. Yogurt, some chips. Oh, Shad, look what I got you. Oh, you remembered. Yep. Oh, buttermilk is in there. We finally got buttermilk. Another weekend has come and gone. Another week of working from home for me. Shad, you're going in a little bit this week. Or they know every day. Okay, which we're super thankful for. We know that this is not easy on a lot of people. And like, I don't even wanna sound like I'm complaining because we're home and you know, yeah, maybe it's a little bit boring, but that's our choice. Like we could do things to not make it be boring. And there's a lot more people that are much, much worse off than we are. And so I'm very thankful that we're in the position that we're in, that we have a roof over our head and food. There's so many people that don't and I, it, I'm sad for I'm sad for any of you that are going through a hard time or anybody, but we're very, very thankful. So no matter what you guys are doing, we hope that you're doing okay through all of this and reach out to us. If, um, if you want to talk, you can message or text or whatever um, if you have our numbers. So we hope that you guys had a great weekend and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks again to everybody for watching and commenting and subscribing. We've got 2,000. 2,000 subscribers. Thanks for watching. Looks like good night. Damn, you can